So you like the look and feel of a spray and liner, but you want something a little more full featured, such as additional padding under your knees or even a tailgate hinge protector. Well, the Bed Tread Ultra has got you covered. Stay tuned to learn more. Before we get started, these products were provided to us by Bedrug for review purposes. And with that out of the way, let's move on to the product itself. So today we're looking at the Bed Tread Ultra. So what makes the Bed Tread Ultra stand out against the Bed Tread? Well, the first key point is the fact that this is a three quarter inch thick foam as opposed to a quarter inch thick foam. So you have more padding, more protection for your knees than you ever had before with the Bed Tread system. So it's a really nice upgrade, gives your knees a little bit more protection when you need it. Now also, this is very, very similar to their bed rug material. The only thing is that the surface material, this is a TPO material as opposed to polypropylene. So it's really got this look and feel of a spray and liner. So if you are a spray and liner guy and you love the look of it and the feel of it, this is gonna be the perfect fit for you, but you don't have to sand or prepare your bed at all. So it's gonna be a really good non-permanent solution if you wanna take it out, put it back in anytime. This is great for that guy that doesn't want a permanent solution as far as a bed liner is concerned. A few other points I wanna make are that these are completely application specific. So if you buy it for an F-150, it's gonna fit your F-150 perfectly, no give or take anywhere. I will point out that these little ribs are designed into, this is the bottom side, of the product so you can see the top side the bottom side so these ribs are going to fill the gaps between the ribs of your bed so this is going to be very snug it's going to fit very well in the bed of your vehicle another key point to this is that the insulation is super easy to do so the reason that is is because you can see on the edges these zippered seams so instead of doing this install in one motion, which can be very tricky to do, you actually put the base in and then put the other parts in and it's a very modular design and you can just zip them up and unzip them as you need to. And it just makes the install a lot, lot easier to do. Now, what about the material? What does it do against rain, things like that? So this is a very, very mildew and mold resistant material. It's actually made of the same material that life jackets are. So it's gonna do a great job at repelling water and keeping mold and mildew from occurring due to it getting in and sitting in the material. So it does a great job at that too. And when it does need to drain, it actually just drains directly through these zipper seams as well. So if you're concerned about drainage, you are covered there with those zippered seams. Now back on the front side, another cool feature is that between the tailgate cover here and the rest of the bed, you have this tailgate hinge protector, and that prevents any debris, any rocks, things like that from getting down into your tailgate hinge and causing damage. So they really thought ahead on that, and it's a great additional piece to this overall design. Now, when all is said and done, when you have this installed and you're out on the road, this is very UV and fade resistant. So many traditional spray and liners out there can fade, can chalk, and that maybe doesn't look as good as it did a year ago or say, uh, any longer than that. So this is the perfect solution for that because it's very UV and it's very fade resistant just by default out of the box. So no worries there, it's gonna look great for the duration that you own this product. To help us with today's install, we actually have Mike Timmons with Bedrug. How you doing, Mike? Hi, Steven, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming in today. Let's go and get this installed. All right, so once you have everything ready to get zipped up, a good rule of thumb, or at least a good tip here, is gonna be to move this or fold it so it kind of pops inward towards you instead of towards the rest of the bed tread. That just makes zipping this up a lot easier. You can see it lines up a little bit better. So when you have things like accessories on the side of your bed, it's typically a good idea to go ahead and get everything in place. Don't tighten it down all the way. So if you need to make adjustments later, it's easier to do that way. But also if you have like a factory light built into your bed, it's better. It's just easier to trim that out when things are already in place. So you can kind of see and cut around exactly what's already there. So it just makes it a little easier if you do this work after the bed tread's already in place. So we have the Bed Tread Ultra nearly installed now, and I want you to look at this. This looks really, really great, fits really, really great. 
I mean, it really, overall, was just a great, easy to do installation. It took us about an hour to do, the bulk of that time being putting the, uh, back in our tie downs and factory accessories, uh, things in the bed there. That was the trickiest part because we had to use a pick to find the, uh, the points on the bed to screw these down into, to bolt them down into, and that just allowed us, or took a little bit more time uh, than the rest of the installation did. Overall though, the installation and putting this in place, super easy to do, super intuitive. Now, as compared to the bed rug system, this is extremely similar to that. The three quarter inch thick foam under your knees was a huge benefit to us as we we're doing the install. It actually saved my knees quite a bit of heartache for that, uh, just as a result of that. Now, another thing, the big difference though between this and the bed rug is the TPO material as a surface, and that gives us a more rigid look and feel. Now, Mike, before we finish this up, what should we know about the uh, Bed Tread Ultra itself? Well, like you pointed out, the three quarter inch foam on the bottom, very comfortable on the knees, very easy to get in and out and stuff like that. There is another advantage to this. The three quarter inch foam is uh, molded to fit around the factory ribs in the truck. This gives two benefits. One, soft on your knees, climb in and out, it holds product in place. Whatever you're carrying around, it's not gonna slide down the heavier it is. The other benefit it does is it allows water distribution. So with a factory spray in line or any type of spray in liner, in most cases, when they spray, they have to clog those front drain holes just because of the thickness of the liner. Yeah. Once you do that, water isn't allowed to drain out the front. With our product, we use those factory drain holes so water can distribute through the front and the tailgate like it's supposed to from the factory. Um, the other benefit that this has is this tailgate hinge. As you can see, this tailgate hinge is designed to keep rocks, dirt, whatever you're sweeping out from getting down in between there. So it's actually an easier process for cleaning and keeps your truck bed a little bit nicer. Okay, and I'm glad you mentioned spray and liner before. That kind of makes me ask another question. Like the bed rug mat, will this be compatible with the spray and liner in the back of my truck? No, um, this actually won't fit well with a spray and liner. Since this product, just like the bed rug does, fits around all of the contours and notches of the actual bed itself, this won't fit with the spray and liner because the thickness of the liner. Once they put that spray liner in, it actually fills in those voids, and we actually go into those voids. Gotcha. All right, with that covered, let's finish this up. So the installation is complete. Mike, thank you for coming in today and helping us with this you install. Betcha. Could have done it without you. Guys at home, if you want any details on this product itself, please check the description below. We'll have all that listed out for you there, part number, and even a dealer locator, so you can find this product at a dealer near you. Thanks again for tuning in. This has been Total Truck Centers in the Garage.